So you love Jesus and you love Christianity, but you also want to get into art? Have I got a book for you? Before we get into today, can I just invite you to subscribe? Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. If you have, then can you encourage others to subscribe as well? Because we actually need to have uh, more subscribers to get to the next uh, level here. So thank you very much. Please subscribe. The relationship between theology and art hasn't always been an easy one. Uh, and I think one of the reasons for that is because uh, theology is all about word and truth, uh, whereas art is all about expressiveness and actually not word, uh, it's about picture. And so trying to work out how those two things fit together can be a complex thing. There are lots of books that have been written about the theology of art, how does art and theology actually fit together. Uh, this is not one of those books. Uh, this is a book, Rembrandt in the Wind by Russ Ramsey. Uh, it's a book about, well, actually what it is is really, Russ is a pastor, he loves Jesus, he loves art, but what he, he wants us to do is to sit back and appreciate art. And so this is more of a conversation. Each chapter is different, uh, but he looks at a lot of the complex relationships that artists have had with uh, Christianity. Um, you know, from people like Rembrandt, who uh, loved uh, Jesus and showed that in the way that he, he, he um, painted, uh, through to Caravaggio, who had a very complex relationship with Christianity. Uh, he was on the run for a lot of his life. Um, he was wanted for murder and yet painted these amazing pictures of Christian themes. Uh, through to uh, Lilias Trotter, who a lot of people won't know, but he's a great artist, uh, but actually gave up her life as an artist in order to take the gospel uh, to people in uh, the northern part of Africa. So there are lots of different themes that are going on there. Every chapter is slightly different. Uh, Michelangelo is the the chapter is more about the how the story of the statue of David. Um, uh, Rembrandt, actually, uh, he spends a lot of time looking at a, one particular piece of work uh, that has been stolen. And so he spends some time talking about how, what happens to stolen art these days? Well, why do people steal uh, priceless and famous pieces of art? Um, since you know that uh, as soon as it goes on the black market, you know who's stolen it. So why, why would people do that? So he spends some time looking at that. Uh, he spent some time looking at the relationships uh, between uh, artists and their families. Uh, so each chapter is slightly different, but each chapter is an amazing thing as we look at the idea of art. Now, I actually listened to this on Audible. Now you might think that's, uh, that's a little bit weird because this is all a visual kind of thing. Actually, I really appreciated it on Audible. Uh, he would describe different pieces of work and some of them I weren't, wasn't familiar with at all. So I had to try and imagine what the art was like and that process was a lot of fun. But if you do listen to it on Audible, he does give you a PDF of all the artworks that he's looking at. And he even gives you this history of art in the background as well. Uh, at the end of the book, there is this fantastic appendix about how do you go into an art gallery and appreciate art, especially some of the things that he um, hasn't talked about and the pieces that he hasn't talked about. So if you're looking to learn more about appreciating art as a Christian, uh, I highly recommend this book, Rembrandt in the Wind by Russ Ramsey.